Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC17 in Denver, Colorado. And today I'm at the University of New Mexico's booth, and I'm here with Bruce. Bruce, um, maybe we should start at the beginning. What is your day job? <laughs> so, Bitscope Designs. I'm the CEO of the company. Um, we make test measurement and data acquisition systems, embedded data acquisition systems, small clusters for edge computing around industrial IoT, uh, and we do a lot of work with Raspberry Pi and embedded ARM. Well, I understand you did a very exciting project with Los Alamos based around Raspberry Pi. Can you tell us more? Yes. So the box that's in the background here is a cluster of 150 Raspberry Pis, which is one of uh, five of such boxes, making a total of 750 nodes. The question on everyone's lips is, why would I want to build 750 node cluster out of Raspberry Pis? Okay, fair question. Well, when you're talking to Los Alamos and the other big DOE labs, they are working on the Exascale Compute Project. They are looking at 20, 30, 40,000 nodes and beyond. When you get to clusters of that scale, you run into scaling and resilience issues. How do you bootstrap the thing? What network architectures? And you don't have the machines yet. You're still building them. Or if you want to run them on the existing machines, they're already, already running science 24 by 7. You can't get any time to do it. So what do you do? You build an HBC breadboard. You build a toy cluster, effectively a low-cost cluster which scales to the same size as the big HPC will ultimately be, but at much lower cost. But the ratio of your CPU, your memory, your network is similar to what it will be in the big machine. So you can explore and work out and your systems developers can get all the provisioning and bootstrapping issues resolved before your new machine exists. Not only, turning Trinity on, LANL's big machine, 20 megawatts. So you've got to be judicious about how you use it. Turn one of these boxes on, 500 watts. Five or seven of these boxes make 1,000 nodes, 5 kilowatts. 10,000 nodes, a 50 kilowatt machine. It's very low cost to run from a power consumption point of view, as well as low cost to build. So Bruce, you're basically simulating a supercomputer, aren't you? We are, and it's, it's a test bed for those guys who have to make the supercomputer work, so the guys who are doing the science on top don't have to worry that the machine is not going to work. Well, I want to double click on this just a little bit. I mean, you know, putting this, this is the topology and everything I get, but it's going to have different latency than that big Cray machine. Um, it is going to have different latency, but latency is not really the issue that they're trying to work out here. It's about actually provisioning the machine to bootstrap properly. Six nodes out of 22,000 didn't boot. Why? How can we handle that better? How do we scale the boot so that they're not all coming off one Pixie Boot server? How do we arrange our network architectures to make sure the machine boots in a reasonable amount of time? How do we ensure we've got an architecture that funnels the data across so many nodes to a checkpoint so that we can optimize our uptime on our big machine so that we're not wasting time doing checkpoint on and off? These sorts of questions are ones that can be simulated on a machine this size, and you've actually got real world nodes. So they suffer the same problems. They sometimes don't work right. Things go wrong. You have to have software, system software built to be resilient against those problems. Well, I guess wrap-up question here. Yeah. I mean, this is a project. Uh, is this going to be a product as well? Uh, it already is a product in a sense that we make clusters from ranging two nodes. We've got a little example here, which is that little board is one of those ones in here, to 10, 20, 40 nodes already. We are looking, and depending on the feedback, we've got a lot of very positive feedback from universities and from students and from researchers for models not quite this big. I mean, this is a DOE-style thing, uh, but a 48 node, a 96 node, a 60 node, a 40 node. So yes, you can actually build and buy these things at the smaller scale already. We're now working out whether it's something people want at the larger scale. Well, hey, thanks for sharing. This is an exciting project, and boy, the people here love the show and tell and see what's inside. Congratulations. Thank you very much.